something wrong call them out on it don't be afraid to tell them look you're wrong on this I still love you I still care about you that doesn't make me change the way I think about you but you're wrong girl that's it and that friend in return should know that you do not mean it in a hurtful way that you care about them and you're being loyal to them and that you just have to let them know that you're wrong about something. So if a friend tells you, look girl, I don't think that that's something that you should be doing. You should care and appreciate that your friend would call you out on it. So you can get your shit together. Most of the time with females, um, we usually break up friendships and it always has to do with a guy. Um, I know personally that I've had to push myself away from some people that I felt were in toxic relationships. And when some, when your friend asks you for advice, you want them to take your advice. You know, of course, why would you ask what I think and then like do the complete opposite of what I tell you you should do? accept and appreciate my opinion but also kind of put it towards use because it's easier when you're on the outside looking in to have a clear head and understanding of what's going on versus if you're in the situation and you have emotions involved you're not going to be thinking as clearly as I am that I don't have any emotional ties to this so I can be 100% honest with you like look this guy is not good for you he has done A, B, and C that has proven that he does not care. Simply. Now, am I going to be mad that you don't take my advice and you do the opposite? I have other things to do. You know, of course I'm going to care, but it becomes different when it's repetitive. When you completely disavow everything that I've said and just do the opposite repeatedly. So it's like you're trying to hurt yourself. If you're trying to hurt yourself, I don't know how much longer I can be your friend. Why are you not trying to listen to someone that really loves and cares for you and is telling you the truth? Why are you going against that? Friends, you outgrow people or some people you lose touch with and then you regain that trust and that friendship in a long run but don't be afraid at the moment to cut people off if that person is not what you need in your life they're causing stress drama or they're just childish in the things that they do in their personal life you don't agree with I mean that happens don't be afraid to cut them off you don't even need a reason at this point because if they don't see it you can't make someone see something if they don't want to see it. They're not opening their eyes and you repeatedly try to talk to this friend and nothing is working. I don't know. I think you did all you can do. But I mean, and being an adult in this world, being caring what your friends are doing in their personal lives, I mean, that's just one of the last things that should be in your list. Look, you're either going to bring positive, good energy all the time, 
or you can take that negative stuff elsewhere because nobody really has time for that I guess I can give y'all an example. Um, me and my twin have been friends, I think I told y'all 12 plus years now, and we don't talk every day, maybe not even once a week. But every time we talk, she knows exactly what's going on that's important in my life. I know what's important going on in her life. We support each other. We have fun together. And that's it. It doesn't need to be any type of extra drama. He said, she said, she, we, maybe the reason that we get along so well is because we understand when it comes to men as well. Like, yo, if you're dating, <laughs> girl talk, if you're dating an ancient nigga, like, we should be able to talk about it and kind of laugh about it. Like, you need to know that this man is not shit, but... If he does A, B, and C for you and you want to continue to work the relationship, that's fine. Just be honest with yourself and say, look, girl, I know he's done this, but I still accepted it and we're moving on. I appreciate that. And that's probably why we get along so well, because we can just be honest about what's going on and with ourselves and not trying to make ourselves look hard like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I can have this guy, this guy, he can be doing, you know, like, we don't do that. We're not, like, faking or acting like we don't get hurt. Our feelings don't get hurt. Of course you freaking care about stuff. That's not what it's about. You can make mistakes. You can think that this guy was the best thing since sliced bread and end up being a fucking asshole. You didn't know. It's okay that you didn't know. Accept it and move on. So for anyone that I have been friends with or anyone that I'm friends with now, like those are the things that you're always going to expect from me. I'm always going to be honest with you. I'm always going to be loyal. I seriously care about you, but I'm not afraid to cut off any of my friends if they do some bitch nigga shit like repeatedly, repeatedly because I'm going to let you know. But after so many times of just doing bullshit, you can't continue to keep that bullshit with you. You got to let it go. Negative energy makes you look older, makes you feel older. Like, I don't know how people can always have drama and stress around you. I don't know how you can talk shit about people every day. If you have a relationship with a friend that all y'all do is get on the phone and talk shit about other people, y'all don't have any lives. And that person is probably getting on the phone with you after you and getting on the phone with somebody else talking shit about what y'all just talked about. If that's all that you have is to talk shit and create negative environments, you need to reevaluate your life. All right, so I love a good girl talk. But that's just um, some things about me and friendships. When you're in high school, it's completely different. It really doesn't affect you in the ways that it can as an adult to be friends with certain people. Certain people are meant to be in your life. They're good for you. They're positive. And other people are bringing you down. They're always negative. Keep those negative people out of your life. Keep positive energy. If you don't have any friends, I bet you're probably one of the happiest people out there, honestly, because you don't have any extra drama. But find people that care about you, that are loyal to you, and want good things for you. And your life will be like, well, you know, in that aspect, your life will be perfect. For my workout today, um, it's called The Flash. I'm going to show y'all a picture. I'm going to put it up here. It is a beast. So, uh, let me read it off to you. There's nine things. Now, there's three levels here. If you do three sets, that's level one. Five sets, level two. And seven sets, level three. I'm still on the level one. So, um, first you're going to do 40 fast high knees. Then 20 squats. 20 climbers, 40 fat high knees again, 20 push-ups, 20 leg, um, plank leg raises, excuse me, um, 40 high knees again, 
20 flutter kicks and then 20 scissors so you do the first one 40 high knees we're gonna do like three sets of those and then go to the next thing I've been doing those smoothies. I'm gonna do those every morning. Um, what I was gonna tell y'all, what I'm gonna eat tonight. Tonight I'm gonna do a tuna mix like a tuna salad and put it. No, I'm not gonna do it on bread. <laughs> See, I was about to. Okay, you can know on a seven day challenge, this is not like other ones. You can eat bread, however, I'm not gonna actually eat bread. I'm just gonna do it as a salad. I'm gonna do the tuna salad, make it with relish and mayonnaise, a couple other things, and put it on top of the actual salad. And then on the side, I'm gonna have a sweet potato. And I think that will be great. That's um, So that's what I'm going to eat for dinner. Y'all let me know what you're eating and how's it going. I hope you're not missing anything on the first day. Um, drink plenty of water. Um, for my water, I do put um, either lemon slices or just 100% lemon juice. I put a little bit in the water just to give it some type of taste if you don't really like water. That's a quick tip for you guys. Okay, so I am so excited that I finally got to get this first video out to y'all. First day of the seven day challenge. I'm feeling great. How about y'all? I hope y'all are too. <laughs> okay, so I will see y'all fresh Monday with the new video on an update of the seven day challenge. And we're going to talk about what to infuse with your water. All right. Well, this is Sweet Lola Tea. And I'm signing off. Have a great day, you guys.